Welcome everyone uh, for another video. Uh, so today's video is about how to nest a model, uh, a wave model actually, because uh, I have seen several comments on on, on this nesting of uh, different uh, grid boundaries. So uh, I thought maybe it's a good idea to show you guys how to do a nested model. Uh, for instance, uh, a model with a very, very high, a big domain, and then uh, you have a very specialized area where you want to focus more uh, to have a uh, very fine grids there. Uh, so let me show you that one for today's video. So okay, so uh, in order to do that, let's let us uh, add a wave model here. Uh, I'll show you this uh, here how to add that uh, shear boundary and how to create that one uh, and also show you an example that I already I have prepared that and uh, to demonstrate that it works and uh, so in order to do uh, uh, two different dimensions actually you can do more than that uh, so so at first you have to import an outer boundary so let's say that uh, this is our outer boundary so add this one first and you'll see that this is uh, this is our outer grid where you have a very coarse grid where you have uh, so now we want to focus this area much more intensely so uh, we we want to have a boundary uh, we have want to have a grid there uh, with with a finer resolution uh, so in order to import the bed level so let us uh, also get the bed level for this one uh, so so this is a very schematic model so this is this is not a very real case scenario so uh, so i have set up set and set up this uh, this scenario for only for this tutorial purpose but you can use it for a real life, a life scenario easily so now in order to add a interior uh, of, uh, fine grid uh, you need to add an interior grid and as you can see there is also also an option of another add an exterior domain so you can also add another domain which has m another much more f uh, coarser grid uh, so that can also be possible so now add an interior domain because we are looking for uh, inner domain so let us uh, get a name say inner domain okay and then then you will see that there's a uh, new tab called inner and now we need to add that uh, inner domain data uh, so this is our inner domain so add this one and you can see this is the finer grid here uh, within this uh, this course grid um, now uh, one thing i need to mention that uh, although this this outer grid is uh, overlapping with the inner grid um, or it's it's covering the area of the inner grid as well you can have the inner uh, outer grid uh, outside of this uh, this this boundary for instance it can start from here for here from here and also can can overlap uh, some portion of the boundaries uh, no matter what it will it will it will simulate as it's uh, described so you can have that option as well so uh, let me add the bed level as well uh, as like previously we have done it so uh, this is the inner bed level so if you zoom this one sorry uh, yeah ah, sorry uh, the bed level files is not here okay let me get this one okay okay ah, yeah so so this is the this is the inner bathymetry and uh, you can see that th that's that's different than the outer bathymetry but it should be uh, should be within um, the values should be uh, should be in line with the with the coarser grid as well if you have a merge grid otherwise it will have some complications with your modeling because you'll have different values here and different values here it will it will um, uh, the model may blow so so uh, so you have to be careful on that one so use the same 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 data source or same data that that you are using for your finer grids and also for your coarser grid uh, so the main theme for this course agreed to have is that you have for instance if you have a very um, if you have a boundary condition where you have um, uh, where you have a very uh, uh, deep water boundary condition and you want to propagate this deep water boundary condition to your inner grids then you need to do this kind of thing um, and uh, 
also there's another uh, thing that's uh, also related uh, to having this uh, this this outer grid because in Delft 3d uh, if you have simulated before you you must have noticed that there's there are some boundary condition error so uh, so some 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 of the boundary data they uh, in in the Delft 3d uh, wave model there there are some there's some disturbance in that in those area so so in the in the area of the boundary there's some some disturbance so so in order to avoid that in order to keep your uh, uh, keep your boundary uh, uh, keep your uh, uh, study area free from that boundary uh, related bias uh, you need to you, you can you can implement this one so that your your data is uh, is is much more reliable. Of course, you are you are going to calibrate this uh, this with your with your uh, wave wave data that you have. But uh, but in order to avoid this one, you can you can easily do this. And after adding this one, just add a boundary for for the for the outer grid. So uh, you have to. Um, impose a boundary for the outer grid data but not the inner grid data inner grid data would be calculated by the by the model itself so you don't need to add any boundary here in the inner domain only add the uh, boundary for for this one uh, for the outer boundary so i already have the uh, have the model uh, set up so uh, let me uh, let me show you how it looks like uh, how the boundary looks like so let me add that model and uh, show you guys uh, so let me import uh, this so okay so yeah so add this one oh, sorry so so this is the this is the inner boundaries and this is the outer boundary as I previously shown you guys and uh, you can see these are the observation points you can have uh, as much as you want uh, so uh, depending on your observed data or, or the places of interest you can add as much ob uh, observation point as I have discussed in the in the wave uh, uh, wave model uh, uh, creation first uh, the, the first tutorial so you can see you can check that one for for your for your uh, if you're interested and uh, you can see that I have only described the boundary for uh, only this one so there is no boundary here as I, I was telling so uh, and now in order to run this one you can run here and also uh, also validate this uh, before running uh, here in the in the GUI but also you can run um, uh, run here with with uh, only click of running model or you can do what you can do is you can do it offline with uh, with uh, with the DIMR settings so so let me show you the DIMR setting here uh, uh, so you can you can easily set up this DIMR by exporting uh, this this model with DIMR configuration here, and uh, it will it will do uh, this this format. It will bring this format. For instance, if if somehow you want to change your uh, change your directory or change the directory that you want to simulate, um, uh, by default it will it will it will do some 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 default work. So if you if you need to change this one, so this is the test directory where you have the wave model. So what you can do is uh, just uh, just change this one to your to your required directory and the MDU file name, of course, uh, in order to run uh, in in in, in, uh, in an offline mode. So and then you can configure your run uh, batch file. So uh, where you can uh, you can see that in order to do that, you need to call the dimr dot bat file. So that's on 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 the on the uh, Dell 3D FM uh, modeling system uh, in the in the C drive. I have already uh, talked that about in the parallel running system. So you can check that video for if you if you um, if you're unsure about what what I'm saying here. So if if you just click here run, though, so the model will start running and you can do other works very easily. And you don't have even you can work on the Dell 3D uh, system here. Uh, without hampering your simulation runs, so it's it's a it's a little bit convenient way of of, of running a model. Uh, hope uh, you uh, like this video and uh, do like, share, and comment uh, if you have any questions. Uh, next video I'll I'm gonna post is going to be a morphodynamic model video, uh, how to set up a morphodynamic model. So if you if you're interested, uh, so uh, click on the notification button uh, so that you you get notified when you uh, when I upload that one. Um, and enjoy modeling. Uh, bye.